Welcome to Katia V5 course. As we open Katia, this is the screen that we get. So we have an option here. We go for start and we have option to see the different workbenches in Katia. We are going to learn only inside the mechanical design. We have another option to invoke by going to file new. So let's open up the workbench by going to start mechanical design and part design. You could rename the file, so my first part. Now, as we open up, we can see the toolbars sometimes is uh, shattered here and there, and uh, it's not. If it's not arranged, just right click here and just go for the customize and go for the toolbars. And in the toolbars, click on restore all contents and restore position. So you can see all the toolbars are placed at the right position and they are all well arranged now. Slowly close the toolbars which we don't want because still there are toolbars which is back of the tool which we can see here. So sometimes when you are a beginner you cannot sometimes find some tools. So this will help you by closing the tools toolbars which you don't want helps you to find the tools which you want easily. Let's first see the basic options. Firstly, let's create a simple model. You don't have to worry. I'm just creating. Just follow me. All these things will be detailed. So firstly, I would like to show you how to play with the mouse. As you hover the mouse, you can see the arrow key arrow moves around the screen. If we click on the middle mouse and hover the mouse, you can see that we are doing a pan. If you have used an Adobe Reader, you might have used a hand which hovers around and moves your documents. If you click the middle mouse button and click on the right mouse, you can rotate the object. And if you click the control and click the middle mouse button and move up and down, you can zoom in. There is another way to zoom in and out that is by clicking on the middle mouse button right clicking and releasing the right click and in this way you can zoom in and out now let's see some basic tools one is the measure tool you always have an option to click on the measure tool and measure the area or the length of the line the curvature of a curve arc radius of the circle etc it's a one click job so if you are a manager of the company or if you are managing the things maybe if you don't want to get in detail to the software you could learn some basic things like measuring etc for you to view the model you also have an option to measure between the surfaces or between the curves etc so in this case let me measure the thickness as you can see the thickness is 20 mm now i will show you how you can set up the units go for tools go for options and this you can go for parameters and measures, go for the units, and you can set up the length of mm or meter or centimeter, etc. You could also set the angle, the time, mass, etc. here and click on OK. In this case, I'll go for the default values that's mm, degree, kilogram. You could hide or unhide the specification tree by going to view and uh, clicking on the specification in my case i cannot press the f3 key because it is assigned to something else so in your system if it's not assigned to something else you could press f3 key to hide or unhide the specification tree you could also hide an object by clicking and right clicking and uh, pressing on the hide button that hides your object Remember that a solid object under a part body can be hidden and uh, the whole solid object that is associated with it gets hidden. Whereas a surface, if you hide a surface, only that particular surface gets hidden. And about the surface, when I explain about the surface, you will understand it better. As of now, this will be good. That's it about the introduction for our Katia. Let's see how our course goes. All the best for your future endeavors.